with this video we will be doing up church version adam calhoun if you want to help the channel and the content that we make it please help support our merchandise the link is in the description if you didn't hit the like button make sure you hit the like button try and get the channel to grow and the only way we're going to do this if you like share and comment on the content so without further ado let's get into this video let's go Chi Chi, get the yayo. Get the yayo. Hey, Creek Squad, what's up? Creek Squad? What's happening? I know it's been a minute since I put out a reaction, but after the video that I just watched, I can't help but put in my two cents. Mm. Okay. I've been a long time supporter of, of church. I remember the first time I was riding down the road and I was listening to YouTube. I had never heard anything like up church. Wow. Nothing. I had heard the lax. I had heard, um, you know, people like that. That was country rap at the time. Right. I had never heard anything like church. And I yeah. remember riding down the road and Redneck For Real. Redneck For came Real. Came on, on my on my phone. <laughs> and I paused. <laughs> I could not believe what mm -hmm. I was hearing. Right, though. As an artist, this is what you uh, want to hear. You want to hear, like, somebody heard your music, and they, it was nothing like they never heard, and they was locked in ever since they heard uh, your first song. Um, That's the thing about being different. When people hear something different, they're going to gravitate uh, towards it like she did. Yeah, she said her world stopped. Yeah. Like, she was vibing on the road, yeah. just checking out her YouTube, and mm -hmm. her world stopped real quick. Like, yeah. hold on, what is this? I've been listening to country rap, but this is different. Yeah. I loved it. I had never heard nothing like it. It sounded real. It right. sounded genuine. It sounded right. like this boy was real. Right. And he knew what he was talking about. And, he and that's crazy because the video we just did, uh, Cree Squad, Roundtable, or I forgot how it was labeled. Um, but the same thing he was talking about in that video about him being real. Um, and he wanted people to that, anybody that support Cree Squad or HB to know that they done with a real one. Um, and she confirming what he said. That's why he said they put the stamps on the back of the truck. Yeah, facts. He was talking from experience. Right. And I've mm -hmm. always been a person that has gravitated more towards real shit. Yeah. Not, I, I love rap of all kinds. Yeah. All kinds. But real stuff just has a a hold on me when it comes to music and stuff. I always gravitate towards people that sing. That's why we were saying in the last video, it's always going to be real over rich. Um, because of realness, you get people like supporting you like this, which will help make you rich. Yeah, because they keep coming back. Facts. Most people are not real, so when they run into somebody real, they're going to stick around it. It to me to be real or, you know, not full of shit. Right. Basically. <laughs> and uh, Up Church is one of the most real, least full of shit people that I've ever seen. Wow. This singer in I'm my saying life. a lot. So, I'm a long time fan. <laughs> since I heard Redneck for real, right. I've been here ever since. That being said, um, I've been a fan of Tom McDonald for quite a while, for years, really. Mm -hmm. um, since I heard, I heard, um, uh, I hate hip hop. Loved it. I absolutely loved it. And um, I, I kept listening to his songs and. I thought this guy's pretty good, you know, but he wasn't my style per se, you know, like country, redneck, you know, it wasn't really my style, but. Yeah, I get what she's saying. Tom don't really fit into, when I listen to Tom music, when I look at Tom speaking interviews, I don't see country. Uh, I know he's from Canada. Yeah. I'm from somewhere, but I get what she's saying. You don't see that. Um, when you see Adam, you see country. When you see uh, Up Church, you see country. Right. When you see. All of them. You know what I mean? It's a big difference between it's them and Adam. It's I mean, a, them and Tom. It's vivid. You could look at it. Even the way they dress. Yeah. Facts. They're more rugged. Yeah, a lot more rugged. I liked what I heard. So I was, I've been a fan for a long time. So the other day when I heard that Church and Tom are beefing or Church is putting out the diss tracks, I listen to the diss tracks. You ain't fixing to sit here and tell me the church don't do the best diss tracks there is. <laughs> you ain't about to say it, Toby. You ain't gonna do it. I'll wait. Hey, okay. I'll wait. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to say that because it's the truth. But I, I really enjoy the uh, rap battle part of, of hip hop. I really me too. enjoy seeing people go back and forth. Yeah, uh, we all do. Seeing who's better and see yeah. what they can come up with. 
that's part of it. That see, I like her. Um, same thing we say. That's what rap is all about. It's all about spitting out bars. Um, so let me. We're, we're rappers. So let's. I'm gonna send you a clip. Uh, send me a clip back. Um, and I look at it like people that wanna don't wanna battle other rappers as a basketball player being saying people saying you're the best basketball player, but you don't wanna play somebody else one on one. Like one on one. I'm not playing him one on one. Why not? We're basketball know? players. That's what we do. We play one on one. You're rappers. This is what y'all do. Y'all go. Y'all rap. Yes. Y'all put creative songs together. It's the same thing. Same thing. That's the culture. That's literally part of it. Facts. Facts. I, I've seen so many people on here upset. Oh my God, church. And, and if she's saying it. That says a right. lot. That says a lot. We all know understands. that's what yeah, we know. That's what hip hop thrives on. You feel what right. I'm saying? You sometimes you're gonna get caught with a shot, and sometimes you're gonna catch somebody with a shot. But everybody get a turn. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, but you don't you, you don't pick when you get shot at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pick your opponents. Yeah. I mean, I heard Terry picking. Tom, well, I don't recall Church and Tom being best friends. I know that they were on a song together. I know Church had him on Traveler. Loved the song. Beautiful. Loved hearing them both sing on it. But. I do know that I have never seen them, like, uh, buddied up. Mm. So, I don't know why it surprised so many people. I mean, it surprises me. I'm um, just saying when I came into Reaction Game, um, and I should do either Tom or Upchurch um, videos, I should hashtag both of their names. You get what I'm saying? Because I thought they was... They had more uh, a click a unit. Yeah, I thought it was a yeah. unit a click. So I thought that up church fans with Tom fans. I thought Tom fans with up church fans. I thought it was all a big group mixed in with Adam Dax. One happy family. Yeah, Adam Dax. Yeah, one big broad Dax. One happy family. But I guess I was Come wrong. Come to find out, yeah, it's <laughs> not the case. Facts. And the everything that church said, I've had every one of those thoughts go through my head about Tom. Mm. Um, I think everybody has. They just don't want to admit it. That's fine. But I will say that I kind of see exactly where Church is coming from. Now, as far as like him being um, from Canada, I don't think that really has anything to do with it. I think that it is fine for him to be over here as a, a real American citizen, you know, repping his country that he's living in now. That's great. We need more of that. That's why I liked Tom. But... I do understand what Church is saying about everything else, um, about him making fun of country people. I get that. I do. When I seen that one video that Tom put out with the, um, what's his name? God, I can't remember his name. The country singing guy the with the ten full hats and all that shit. I did have that thought for a minute. I thought, wow, She's that about ben. a little weird. Like, I mean, that's a little... Mm -hmm. That's a little make fun of this, you know, like, but at the same time, Tom McDonald's not from the country, y'all. Do y'all right. think he really knows what he's doing when it comes to that? No. <laughs> he's going off of what he sees. He's not from the country. He's from Canada, for God's sake. Right. He's not from the South. He's not from the sticks. He don't know what, he, he can't do it like church. Ain't nobody can. Unless you're from the sticks, you live it, you breathe it, you do it. Then you have stuff to talk about because you're speaking from experience. Um, I get what she's saying, and I, so I'm like 50-50 on that, um, because I know some people are great imitators. Some people just look at something and pick up on it quickly. Right. Just like um, music. Um, everybody don't know how to read the notes, but some people just say, hey, you play something, and play the exact thing right back to you without having experience or went to the schools and stuff that you went to. Um, but I get what she's saying, like, because um, we heard a country song from um, Tom, the song with the bomb. When he sat behind a bomb, kind of gave me like a country feel a little bit to it. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a dope song. Like I feel, I feel where she's coming from though. Like there, it's a difference in being in tune with some things and it being who you are. Yeah, yeah, it's a big difference um, you know between that. But you could definitely imitate what you're seeing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they hate to use the verbiage, but it's almost like she's calling him a chameleon. Yeah. You know what I mean? We know you can fit in. We know you can adapt to the situation. I think that's the best way to describe Tom. Tom could do like, seem like any genre he wants. Like, yeah. he want to do pop, he want to do country, he want to do hip hop, yeah, he, he want to do woke. <laughs> he could just, he could do it all on a high level. In. Yeah, facts. So I'm not surprised at Church and Tom, uh, Church going back and forth with Tom. I hope that Tom puts a response back. I hope that he does something or else he's going to look like, pardon my French, but he's going to look like a bitch. <laughs> if he don't. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to see some 
something back here from Tom. And that's what we were saying the other day. It was like, you know, I was asking. I was like, you think Tom going to say something? He was like, no. And then I was like, you think Upchurch is going to say something else? He was like, yeah. And he did. 12 hours later, he dropped something. Dropped something else. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I was, that's why I said it. Because I was like, he has to say something or he's going to look like a buster. Yeah, I mean, it depends on if you care if people look at you um, like a buster or not. Um, because if you take the battle one and you lose, you probably could look worse than that. And to me, I always took Tom as a strategist. Right. He plans stuff out. Well, we see, as she just said, he looks like a buster. <laughs> but, like I said, I, I, I like Tom. I like his music. I, I love it. I, I, but I will say, overall, I am a bigger fan of Church than I am any singer, period. So, you know, I might be a little biased, but I can't help it. Um, I was blown. You can tell she's a fan. At least she's keeping it real. She's not trying to hide it. You know, people are like, oh, I'm just, I'm 50-50. I'm a fan of both. He's better. Bros. He's better. No, she's like, I'm uh, rocking with church. I'm, I'm from the country. I can relate uh, to Up Church more because he talks about stuff that I went through and experienced. So I can relate to it more than Tom, who dabbles in it here and there. But most of his catalog is not a, what we consider a country catalog. Right. Float away when I seen this video this morning about Adam Calhoun. I read the comment. I'm going to insert it into the video here. Okay. I'm going to insert the um, clip here. I was blown away when I seen this. I really thought that Adam Calhoun was more a man of his word. But just out of all the proof that church gives every time he has an allegation or says that somebody is this or that, he gives proof every single time. So I'm kind of inclined to believe church. Not just that. When somebody gives... I'm going to say, like, at first it was Tom and Upchurch. And it seemed like slowly more and more, Adam's yeah. being pulled into In this. Opposite direction. Facts. You proof every time of what they're saying is true. You tend to believe them because you know that they're a credible, believable person. And right. I don't think church is lying. And I hate that. Mm -hmm. I do. I thought, damn, like he's one that I can say that's a good dude right there. But I think we're being proved wrong about that, and I don't wow. like that. Um, I think that's shitty. Damn. And I'm going to be totally and completely honest about my thoughts about that. What I don't like about all of this, um, from what I've been seeing in the comment section, that people are now picking sides. You're picking sides. You got to be an Adam fan, you got to be a Tom fan, or you got to be an Upchurch fan. When we first came into a reaction, we thought they were just all... One big fan base. That was the click. Yeah. It's crazy. It count. was all good just a week ago. Just a week ago. From the stuff I've heard him say that he's done, he, that's a little scumbaggish, dude. Mm. But, you know, turn your life around. You're really doing it. You're really, you're really living it. Have at it. Right. But, you know, sounds like he used to be a little eh. But, you know, like I said, I'm just inclined to believe church because church has proof. Every time he says something, he backs it up. And when you always back up what you say, people tend to believe you. Right. Um, it makes me sad, though, for church, because it sounds like him and this phone, y'all. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> um, like I said, it, it makes me sad because I really thought they were close and, or not, maybe not close, but, you Homies. know, maybe that he had his back for real and they were, you know, They're actually. Riding. Looks gang, like gang. I ain't got to tell you who it is no more. I should put it sideways. A lot of people think this is about me. Here's what it say. All oh, dog, I'll enjoy your man. Get everything about me out of their effort. At the end of the day, like always say, brother, I'll always be there if you need me. I feel like I've always owe you what. Send that. Bitch, church. <laughs> it's like he was riding until he wasn't. And that's what I hear a lot of people be saying. Um, because um, Adam said that he started rapping again because of up church. You feel what I'm saying? Like he said that publicly. Um, so while this is going on, people might be looking at him sideways because you you already said it's the reason why. You did X, Y, and Z, and now it's up, and 
it looks like you don't want to pick a side. Like, you're just trying to be neutral in the situation. Yeah, you're just trying to be standing next to what's popping. Yeah. That's what um, people might take it as. You, of all people, after everything you stand for, you preach, after all the things you said about we should get the genre together and all this shit, you have to end up like one of them. Mm. You know how disappointing that is, bro? Not just for me. You know how disappointing that is for the fucking listener? For the ones that grew up listening to this country rap shit? Bro, when I, when I seen that comment, I was like, he knows it too. Right. I didn't even say a name in the video. He knows it's him. Wow. And you feel guilty, bro. And you know what? You should feel fucking guilty, dog. Because I ain't never done shit to you except for help you, bro. Mm. I'm going to help you get the courage to even do this shit in the first place. Um, That's crazy. And that's what I was saying. That, uh, fans were telling me that Upchurch is a big reason why um, Adam's in the position um, that he's in. Um, and sitting here listening to Upchurch, he... he Seems like he's hurt a little bit. Sound a little disappointed. Yeah. The things end up the way that they hit. Nothing's more disappointing than when you think somebody is a real one and you find out they're lame. I'm not saying that's the situation here, but that's a bad situation. I thought you was real. You was a lame this whole time. Yeah, you were just trying to gain position. Facts. You've already admitted that before in a fucking interview, multiple interviews. All the times that I've, I've, I've done singles with you albums, music videos, made content, a bunch of shit I didn't have to do. Right. A bunch of shit where I stopped what I was doing to help you. Mm. A bunch of fucking time that I wasted mm. helping a motherfucker who just wanted to backstab me like 90% of the other fucking people. Man. I was riding for you because I thought you was a real one. I stopped what I was doing. I made content with you. I made songs with you. I made albums with you. Everything to help give you the other push. Um, then when stuff hit the fan, it's like, bro, where you at? I had my back like I had yours. It wasn't no us. Yeah. I found it wasn't out it was no us. Me. It was just you. It's crazy. Yeah. And you the last one I thought it would be. It's always the last the one you thought it would yeah. be. It's always the last one you thought it would be. The fact that there was diss tracks you made against me. During the times you did, it's so fucking stupid. Like, bro, like I said, I ain't never done nothing to you, fool. And then during the times that these diss tracks and shit was made, was during some of the like roughest times of my fucking life. Dang. By the way, these diss tracks never came out to anybody who's wondering. No, they were made, and then he would come hang out in my yard and smile on my fucking face. No wonder you... That makes you want to fight somebody yeah. when you find that out. You was coming, being around my kids, smiling in my face, and then you would leave here and go in the booth and write a diss track about me. Yeah. Smile on my face, stab me in my back, and then be like, don't worry about it, I'm not putting it out. <laughs> what? Dang, this is crazy. Now it's starting to make sense. Stuff is starting to... Piece of a little bit to me now. Yeah, now it makes perfect sense why he was like, I'm going to smack you. And he yeah. smacked him. He's yeah. like, I'm going to smack you again. <laughs> and he smacked him. It's crazy. You're always fucking having anxiety, bro. Because you've been fucking hiding this shit for a long time. Mm. Even when I was fucking helping you. During a time when I was being sued in court by all these bums. Spending millions of dollars in court. During a time when I got robbed by my own fucking mother mm. of fucking millions of dollars. Mm. Spent a bunch of money on fucking houses for fucking people that I didn't even know. During a time where she destroyed my fucking house. I'm still fucking re remodeling this house from her fucking it up. You and your buddies out here trying to fuck my shit up even more. Anyways, that's crazy when he broke it down. Like, like, bro, you was there when I was at my lowest of lows, and you knew it. And you acting like you was a support system, 
just to leave and make diss songs. Probably about the information that I was giving you. Um, because when you feel someone's a friend, you give them more information than you would just give a normal person. Right. So that person can easily take that information that you've given them and just put it and in a song. It. And it sounded like he was just kicking him while he was down. Yes, it would sound like. It's crazy. Like I said, it's very dis- I can't wait to add him. Uh, respond. He's got to say something. Um, yeah, because... um. The way he painting these pictures, they don't say nothing. Um, that's just gonna be the narrative that people just gonna think. Um, ever since we've been reacting to um, Adam, Adam give me that up church vibes. Always sound like a straight up, straight up guy like to a stand me. up guy, like a stand up guy um, to me. Um, so I hope he just come and just air out, do what he's doing, just just speak about it. Um, so people could see uh point of view because we're like open minded, we're not judgmental, um, we realists, so we could just. Listen to what he's saying and take yeah. what we need to take. Because it sounds good that, well, I don't have to answer everything. And then eventually it just sounds like BS. Yeah, because you don't want it to be out there like, yo, you was at this man crib. Then you will leave and make this songs about him. That's not true. Clear that up. That's not a good look. Yeah, you got to clear it up. Yeah, it's not a good look. It's important to hear that Adam Calhoun was putting out diss tracks on not putting them out, making them. And everything that Church goes on to explain in this video. And I'm very disappointed Really, truly, I am because I've been a fan of Tom, Calhoun, and Church for years. Yeah. But, you know, overall, out of all all of these rappers, Church is the only one that always has facts to back up his opinions. Or, you know what I mean. He always has proof to back these things up. And, you know, people tend to forget that these people that are famous... They are still people. And Church just was done really raggedy by his mother a while back. Okay, I didn't and, know that. You know, that would be... Imagine yourself going through that as a human being, not as a famous person, as a human being. And then tell me that that wouldn't be rough. And then on top of that, you're dealing with you living the way that he is and, and people or looking up to him every which way that he turns and he's still just human. Right. And then on top of that, I mean, people that are supposed to be close friends that stab you in the back. It's crazy. Because trust me, I have had my fair share of that shit. We all have. So I do know that. <laughs> we all have. And I know that it sucks. Yeah. And I know that no matter how famous you are, you're still a human. You still Facts. have feelings and that shit still sucks. Definitely. So it's really kind of sad. But one thing I do appreciate is church calling people out when they're fake. You got yeah. Calling these people out when they're making fun of country folks. He has stood up for us for a long time. Y'all have a great day. I appreciate y'all tuning in to watch the video. Please let me know what you think about all this in the comments. What do you think? Let us know too in the comments. About Tom, what do you think Thanks. about church? What do you think about all that. Adam Calhoun? What do you think about all this going on? Please let me know. I love to see y'all's comments. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment. All that. Y'all have a wonderful day. You Bye. too. It's Trey TV. Let's get it. This is Lamar Wilson here representing Ghetto Action News Network underscore all lower cases. No spaces. And you can find us on Facebook. And when you do, follow the page. Like the page. Share the page and come back. All right, I'm going to get right on into this. We got Ryan Upchurch versus Adam Calhoun. Ding, ding, ding. Round one. Who thought we was gonna see this one coming? I mean, that never thought we was gonna see this. I thought they, I thought they was riding. I thought they was like peas in a pot. You know what I'm saying? And bros then, for life. Bros for life. <laughs> and then come to find out, it's shade. It was shade all good just here, a week ago. Shade over there. It's all good just a week ago. But I'm glad we're hearing more about this. I'm glad Up Church is speaking his part. You see, the fans is is tuning in, chiming in, speaking their mind. I think everybody's a little confused over this one. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, me too. But I think this was a fun watch. Um, I like how she connected the video um, as well. So you could see Church speaking yeah. from his own mouth. Right. She brought the receipts. The situation, bought the receipts. That's the best way to do it. Um, it stays away from just being opinion-based when somebody is factually telling you, nah, he was at the crib. Nah, yeah. I got the audio. Right. Nah, he's being a buster right now. Yeah. I thought this was dope. What do you yeah. think? 
I think it was a great video um, that she put together, uh, breaking stuff down, uh, brought a lot of clarity uh, to me from the outside looking in. It was some stuff I didn't understand. But after uh, listening to her video, I definitely understand um, it more. So, I mean, she did a hell of a job breaking everything down, explaining it. I like the fact that she had an unbiased opin um, opinion. She let you know, you know I'm an up church fan. Um, I'm just like real ones. You feel what I'm saying? And it's like we all don't at this point. We like being around real people, authentic people. Nobody want to be around fakes. Nobody want to be around busters. Nobody want to be around lames. And and people just want to be treated uh, the way they treat other people. Like if someone help you in a time of need, um, they expect you to help them um, in a time, time of need. And I don't think that's asking for a lot. And I don't, at first it looked like uh, church just was coming from all the way left field. But when you start listening to him, he's not coming away from uh, left field. And if some of this stuff did happen, he has a right to be mad about it. He yeah. has a right to be uh, pissed about it. Um, that's just some of the stuff that's going on in his life. I'm pretty sure he got all the stuff um, that's going on. We all got our trials and tribulations um, out here. And then the extra stuff that you see coming is like, I mean, life is already hard. Why are we adding more hardness um, to this right. life? But I think it's something that you got to be careful of when you're around people um, that you're all doing the same thing. Um, because at the end of the day, however you want to slice it up, it's competition. You feel what I'm saying? And nobody, right. everybody want to be number one. Um, so sometimes people might do stuff to try to enhance their position in the race. And it might not be what we call um, real, um, but we know it happens every day. Every day. Um, it seemed like it was kind of going on here a little bit. I'm pretty sure more information will come out and we have a clearer uh, picture of what's going on. But until then, it's your boy Trey TV. And I'm out.